Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This evening we celebrate the vigil for the twelfth Sunday in ordinary time. So let's begin in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment and confess our sins to God in, in ways that we have failed him and our neighbors in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidier on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to do an act of kindness for someone else sometime in the next couple of days. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, pour out your Spirit and inflame us with the fire of your love. Grant us the words to move the hearts of all people and the courage to hold firm should your word be rejected. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many. Terror on every side. Denounce. Let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame. 
to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my children, <clears throat> because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall on me. Lord, in your great love. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for the bounteous is your kindness, and in your great mercy turn toward me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Lord, Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, Proclaim on the housetops, and do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs on your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. This is the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated.
fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. The words are taken from today's gospel according to St. Matthew, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, no function. So, Jesus has some very harsh words. If whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. Whoever acknowledges me, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. Indeed, we are called to witness to our Lord, to Jesus. And we are not to fear. That's how he begins. Fear no one. Because everything that's done, everything that's hidden, will always come out in the end. And we see that time after time after time after time throughout history. People try to cover things up, and it just makes it worse. How many times have we done that in our lives? Done something that we're just completely ashamed of, we know we messed up, but we don't want to admit to it, and we try to cover it up. Put it in a hole, dig it, dig dirt all around it, conceal it, camouflage it, whatever. And yet, sooner or later, it always catches up to us. That's what Jesus is saying. And how much more with God, who knows all, all, everything that ever was or for us will be. Knows all. So we cannot hide anything from him. What he wants us to do when we sin, when we fall, to just face up. Go before him. Tell him we're sorry. Renew our relationship with him. Repair it. Make amends if we must. And move forward in our love with Jesus. That's what he wants us, but yet it is so hard for us. It's hard for us to admit when we're wrong. It's hard for us to admit when we messed up. It's even harder for us sometimes to pay the penalty that goes along with it here on this earth. But that's part of being a person of integrity. Doing what you say you're going to do, and if you don't, own it up. Again, we're all guilty of this. But perhaps we can take a lesson from our Lord. And maybe the next time we're tempted to cover up something we've done, realize through the grace of the Holy Spirit that it's better to face it right at the time than to kick the can down the road and try to hide it, which a lot always makes it worse. Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, <coughs> Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, 
He is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us humbly approach our Father and place our petitions before him, trusting in his great love and mercy. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may continue to be a beacon of hope, calling us to walk in the light of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all world communities, that they will be inspired to protect God's creation and advance ways to provide food, refuge, and welcome for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord For persecuted Christians, especially in Russia, Ukraine, and anywhere Christians are being persecuted, that the Holy Spirit may fortify them with the courage to be worthy imitators of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For the sick and the suffering, especially those on our parish prayer list, that they may be assured of the Father's love and constant help in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all the special intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. And for whom this Mass is being offered, which is for the persecuted Christians around the world in a special way, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved deceased and those who will die today, that they may enjoy promise, the promised reward of eternal life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord Loving Father, you have always given courage and strength to those who are fearful and never turned them away from your mercy. May we never forget your kindness and unconditional love. May us all these things, both spoken and unspoken, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine, and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice, which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name. Lord our God, we offer this sacrifice of praise to you. May it strengthen our faith in our weak and fearful moments. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Announcing the coming of your kingdom, Christ called his disciples and began his sacred ministry. Empowered by your grace and strength, may we faithfully fulfill the ministry that you have entrusted to our care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice, the Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82, if you're following along. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection, he took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling back his death and resurrection to mind. We offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, now and forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the unity of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ Bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace
peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let's say together the first communion prayer on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching. And never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. For those who are joining us online or who for personal reasons cannot receive the body and blood of Christ today, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. If I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Flame my heart, the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food, and may the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever.
Similarly, good works are also public, and even those that are not cannot remain hidden. Let us pray. Almighty God, may your grace strengthen us who have shared in the mysteries of the altar. Grant us the endurance to do your will and the resolve what, to receive what you have promised. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Pray you have a wonderful evening, wonderful weekend. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace. Fight evil wherever you find it. Spread joy wherever you go. And for our closing hymn, if we could sing together, it's in the bulletin, sing a new song. And that's the last song in the bulletin on page four and five. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy, O come before the Lord, and play for Him on glad tambourines, and let